Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Tahir Moore. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. <laughs> Very special guest in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Here. Uh, an absolute joy to see on stage. He calls himself the most affordable rock. Facts. Out of the family. Uh, just got engaged. Out here making these jokes, making the world laugh. You can catch him anywhere in the world, online, offline, on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Jordan Rose. <laughs> What's up, good brother? Cool, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Jordan is one of those people where you were you were living in New York. But I'm a it. nomad, man. Yeah, I'm a yeah. nomad. I'm all over the place. So I never did a run in New York, so I would always see Jordan sparingly. And it's always like in passing, while he might be in a different room or the same club or something like that. So we never really got a chance to hang. Last time, the show we did together with CP, was like the first time we really got to like really just talk and hang out a little bit, met your fiance. Yeah. But uh, you've always been very talented. And one of the things I admire most is like your brothers, Tony and Chris, all of you guys have a very different voice, very different content, very different approaches to it. Um, Chris is very much uh, tell you, make a hypothesis and then prove it right. Tony Rock is straight into it, in your face, and you're more chill and just give your tone, totally honest opinion. Um, where I mean, obviously you were influenced probably by your older brothers, but what made you say... I can do this comedy shit. Man, I, yo, everybody always asking me who made, who inspired me to yeah. do comedy. Yo, Lil JJ. Rip. Yo, I saw Lil JJ from coming to the stage. BT I was like, yo. at the braids. Yeah, I was Not like, yo, yeah, I was, I, I, I saw it through my brothers, but once uh. I saw a little JJ do comedy, I was like, oh, I can start doing comedy now. Yeah. I can start writing now. And then I remember the first time <laughs> I met Brandon T. Jackson, he was like, yo, do you do stand-up? This was like back when they did like the Teens of Comedy tour. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit, I could do comedy. Like, yeah. I could actually do this. So, yeah, those two guys, my brothers, but also Lil JJ, Brandon yeah. T. Jackson, two guys that really... Wow. Inspired me to start doing comedy. Brandon T. Shout out to Brandon T. Jackson. He's from um, Detroit, right? Uh, I met him in L.A., so I don't really know where he's from. He's always been an L.A. guy. Yeah, I think, he's, I think he's originally from Detroit. But uh, we actually share the exact same birthday and year. Like, both March 7, 1984, to the T. Damn. Both mm. Pisces. Yeah. Shout what does that mean, him. being a Pisces? Um, Very emotional. Um, and not like in the sense of like always crying, but like we're in tune with our feelings and we're, we make decisions based on how we feel about shit. Like mm. we don't like, yo, I just need that get back. We are spiteful like that. Uh, we will be like, nah, bitch, I need that get back. But it's not just because that it's like, all right, I can see, we will talk things through. Like I can see why this motherfucker did that. So I'm gonna let it slide. But <laughs> we, we are very in tune with that and we don't forget. Like we are, that's why I got the double heart, love heart, hate heart. Cause I'm a true Pisces. All right. I, I am. I, I know ain't no getting around it. Does hate come from the heart? It does, huh? I think so. If you heard me enough, yeah. Bitch, I need that get back from the heart. That's on my mom. Honestly, I think hate comes from uh, what your parents taught you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That can be influenced by that, too. Because yeah. they teach you the, the the right from wrong and, like, don't let people play with you or so yeah, that type so, of shit. So, yeah, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, so if you saw your mama beefing, then you going to be beefing, yo. If you <laughs> saw your daddy lifelong. beefing, you going to be beefing. That's a lifelong If they ain't let journey. shit slide, you not letting shit slide. But you know what? I think it still, <laughs> it still really comes down to the personality because my mom is a pack rat and she is habitually late. Yeah, I've left my mom before. When she was out here one time, I left her at the crib. We were supposed to go to church. She was about to make me late. I left her ass at the crib. Yo, I'm the king of leaving niggas, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I think I think the mark of being an adult, like the mark of being an adult, is realizing you could be left at any moment. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uber Don't play with me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll, and, I'll see you there. And you need enough money as an adult to get wherever the fuck you need to be. Right. So mm -hmm. you have to do that. Right, yeah, right, my right. brothers taught me that early because, uh, yeah, I would be on the road with Tone and that nigga would just leave me. So <laughs> I was like, yo, man, you. I like, was like, he's leaving. Did you go to me. the venue? Uh, no, nah, like, we had the club. <laughs> <laughs> we had the club. You know, I turn around. I'm like, oh, they left me. I'm like, hey, Tone go kick it at the club, yeah, though. Yeah. He don't go to the club. I'm not a big club person on the road, especially since it's not a city I'm not familiar with. I don't feel comfortable I'm, like being exposed like that. Yeah. I'm not a big go. I, I'll go. I hate a bar, but like clubs, just not really. You talking, talking about the comedy club? Though, no, right? I'm talking about the club, club, club. club. I'm talking club, about the club, club. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. better be on your p's and q's. <laughs> don't don't stray too far away from the group because they will leave you. And that yeah. and that uh that spread into my real life because I'm like, well, you know, 
this nigga left me and I, I know he loves me. Yeah. So, yeah. nigga, I will leave you in a second. Absolutely. You're not even family. <laughs> yeah, I don't even. I just met you five years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We share the same last name, baby. Uh, so, uh, we always do an intro song. And as I said beforehand, we just we try to rhyme. Damn it, let you scare with something. I'll be boxed. Pat kicks out the rap, and we just looking for like two bars. If you want to go long, you can, but okay. we just try to rhyme that little, little part right there. Just um, be stupid. Yeah, it's, be it's scary, not good. dairy, okay, hairy, incinerary. Fairy. Fairy. We got a beat. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, we give gonna, me a beat. Uh, last time we did a uh, beat old from scratch, hip-hop. and this time we're gonna do. Uh, we did old school hip hop. Yeah, yeah, it was like an old school '80s '70s rap. There's the boom oh, back. Okay. I'm gonna do. Um, <clears throat> do do do. Mary Jane. Yeah. What the fuck is up, you bitches? We about to do this shit. It ain't gonna be good, but we about to do this shit. You see the participation trophies. Uh. Pull up on your ass with a fucking Glock. I'm here with the most affordable rock. Mm. Selling parts out the mortuary. Mm. I'm chilling here on damn men and net you scary. Mm. I'ma pass it to my left. Yes. What you gonna say, bless? Us. Okay, I'm in the studio. What do you know? On the sh- okay, I fucked up the flow already, hey, but I don't care because the internet is damn scary. Yo. Anyway, I'm going to kill the shit like I'm Barry from the HBO series. Yeah, they not ready. I get heady when I smoke sativas, and I do it. I am not a diva. Yo. Okay. Pass it. <laughs> <laughs> what if he to nice. be too complex? I've been trying to listen to shit to see if I can do a break, and I was like, oh, this is good. I just, I just, I just need to stop. I just need to stop. <laughs> it's something like to hear what's saying booty in the what? Hold up. What, huh? what are y'all talking about? Huh? I don't know. Super casual booty. You know how you just be talking crazy and shit like that. Booty in the what? I have no idea. I have no idea. But people were asking about the finger. I hurt the finger. Um, <laughs> don't tell them. Make something up, man. Give Please. us something good. Please I make was, something I up. I was fingering Farron, and Ooh. she had a seizure. Okay, that's good. And the Fair. jerking motion, like, ripped the finger backwards, so that's what it was. Now, as horrible as that was, <laughs> the truth <laughs> is... The truth is the truth is worse. So just take that. The truth I has no views. I was trying to spin her like a basketball, <laughs> two fingers, and... There you go. <laughs> the truth is not is not clickbait at all. I tried, I tried to tell them the truth earlier, and they didn't they didn't respect my truth at all. Terrible so, like, story. We just, gonna, we just gonna just leave it at that. Awful Fuck story. It. I will take the fidget spinner sparing. <laughs> Spinning her legs and shit. <laughs> she fell forward. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing you don't realize how much you need this finger for, bro. Like that's the main one. That's what well, right hand Oh yeah, like mm. I like pumping my soap out of the uh, dispenser. You pump it like this? Well, because I, I have the um, I have the like the body scrub thing, so it goes around the hand. Use your so palm. Hold. Yeah. Huh? Use your palm. Well, I'm. You no, know, I never even thought about that. What? Wow. I just because I'm so used to doing it ah, like this. Yeah, you're so used to doing up, it like bro. that. You, uh, my well, you tube really brush, just need these two fingers. The vibrator tube. I mean, the vibrating toothbrush. Uh, the quip. So I, I usually press it with that. It's just so much stuff. I nah, realize. you can't. You're not hitting R1, R2 <laughs> at all with that one. You are out the game for a while, man. I'm Gaming over, is listen. Is I go out of the country tomorrow can't night. Can't do so PC with that. Look, 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 look at the difference. Wow. Ugh. And this is after it's gone down. Like this holy is, shit. Yeah. So. Oh, hold on. Let me let me get the camera on. You. For the audio only. Yeah. This this is. Imagine. One finger. Two sausages. <laughs> one, 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 one. And then one hey, the Jimmy John. Really this bitch right now, huh? That's one what we do. Frozen Jimmy John. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a hot dog and a hot link. That's yeah. what my fingers look like right now. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> it look like a ballpark and a Johnsonville Frank. That's what that's what my shit look like right now. Just a, a sedan and a cyber truck. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> just, just those two. Just those two. I feel that's like crazy. You've just been- it, it it yeah it, it's That's it's getting swollen. better though. I do feel I do feel like it's getting better. I'm on that ibuprofen regimen and I'm icing it uh, every so often doing a cold compress with it. So it is getting better. But man, I fuck some shit up. I ain't gonna hold ibuprofen regimen sounds way more intense than it really is. Yeah. That means I'm, I'm taking broken. some Advil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on the 
ibuprofen <laughs> regimen. No, the doctor's the, ibuprofen the doctor's be hitting there. <laughs> <laughs> it do. It do. Why is it? Why is it different? It's just it can it's be stronger. a higher milligram. Yeah, it's a higher milligram. You can't get that in. Nah. See, nah. Typically, like the ibuprofen would be like. Advil will be like 200 milligram. Ibuprofen might be like 300, 400 max. Like you can get Damn. a 500 a Tylenol, but like the the the, the heavy shit, you, you had to get it prescribed for you. That's crazy. I didn't know yeah. there was a and prescription. And it's an anti-inflammatory because that's what I need right now because it's, it's hella swollen. They didn't so. do nothing good. They just gave you ibuprofen. Well, here's the thing. So I was going to go to the hospital after I went to those little kickbacks, yeah. right? And, but at the kickback, I was Priorities. just going to ask some people, like, yo, is anybody a doctor or a nurse? And this chick was, she was, she was a nurse, a little Filipino lady. So I showed her. The fingers, and she was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Do you have, you have gout in your family? Anybody your fa- family got gout?" And I was like, "No." She was like, "Okay, well, it's not gout. That they're not going to give you medicine specific for your finger. They're just going to give you an ibuprofen and they tell you to do the cold compress." So I was like, "Fuck it, I ain't got to go to the emergency room." Okay, so you so. self-diagnosed that. Well, I mean, I, party I diagnosed. With somebody. <laughs> <laughs> is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Tim was there. She saw me. I was walking around. I was like, yo, is anybody a doctor? He I was a, going to different groups a, a while they playing back. Uno and Spades and shit. I was nah. like, yo, yeah, I'm going to let y'all finish. I'm going to let y'all finish. But. He got the kickback diagnosis. <laughs> Check out this hot link. <laughs> Fresh off the grill. Are there hey, any doctors? Was dumb. Are there look any at my finger. Doctors. Everybody's like, yo, I'm not trying to see your finger. you like, look at my finger, though. Look, look at it, though. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little crazy, but we're good. We're good. Uh, we got some crazy stories for you guys today we found on the internet. And I think the first one we wanted to start with uh, you want to start with white white woman, black baby? Yes, okay. absolutely. Absolutely. Um, all right. Uh, this event happened in Spanish in a Spanish hospital last Monday, Oof. well, two Mondays ago now, when a white woman was giving birth with her husband present in the delivery room. The labor was going smoothly until the baby appeared, causing great confusion. First, the medical team thought the baby was darker because of the respiratory failure. Ouch. Because of a respiratory failure. But when the whole body came out, they realized that the baby was a healthy little black boy. The exhausted mother opened her arms to receive her newborn son. (laughs) When she held it to her chest, she immediately yelled at her husband, you bastard, I knew you were cheating on me. Look what you've done. Go away. She's wow. good. She's good. Oh, my She's God. She's good. Commit that is to the bit. <laughs> top tier white women. You're talking about committing to the bit? That is white women. He couldn't even <laughs> comprehend. He was like, uh, ah! The mother started crying, so she automatically won the argument. And the husband just stood there speechless and unexpected in this unexpected situation. Listen. So sh- this white woman gives birth to a black baby. And accused the husband of cheating with the black woman. It's very clear that the the husband was also white. <laughs> so was she implying he had African American sperm? He's implying that she he had sex with a black woman, got her pregnant, took the embryo, implanted it in his wife while right. she was asleep. She had no idea. Found out she was pregnant. Gives birth seven months later, doesn't even think it's a preemie, wow. and now the baby's black. And that no. science fiction was easier than saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I fucked the nigga neighbor, and here the we are. The nigga neighbor? I mean, hey, yo, she said all lady? that. I'm pretty sure she says nigga. <laughs> The nigga neighbor. That sounds like something. That sounds like something a white woman would say in a porno. Honestly. That's not even real. Or a new work. sitcom. Those oh, aren't even you're real the work. new nigga neighbor for next door. <laughs> That's so crazy. The audacity is that. I've seen way too many highs. episodes of Maury, man. I already know what's happening. I know what's happening. You better break the lie detector test out now. <laughs> the audacity of the caucasity is running rapid this year. That is. That's something new. I've never heard somebody try to put the baby off on the guy cheating with another woman and putting it in her. Because that's the only way possible <sighs> for that to happen. This sounds like a nigga who would believe that, too. I if she not. would try that, it sounds like a dude who was just like, oh, I'm, I didn't cheat on you. I'm sorry. We'll get through this together. Like, I feel like there's so much more context we need to know. Like the absolutely. state, the country, the education system. <laughs> the friend. <laughs> yeah, do these niggas have sex oh, The friend group. <laughs> do they know anything about how babies work, how, where babies come from? Do they think like she's got the wrong thing on the stork or something? <laughs> That's, yeah, we need to know says, more context. Of like, days, is, how old is this guy? Is this a 16-year-old? I couldn't believe a 16-year-old kid being like, oh, shit. It says two days, married. two days later, the father gave an interview. I tried to talk to her, but she always starts crying, and I don't want to hurt a crying woman. Um, hey, here's somebody in the chat. I'll That's, have to accept the accusations. Somebody in the chat has the good one. Or he's black man passing. 
Mm. Maybe mm. he's just a tan white man. I'm mean, no a, t- a, a light skinned dark man, mm. black man. If this if this is a Spanish, they say the Spanish hospital, so that could be anywhere. That could Spain. could be Cuba. I would think Spain. Okay, because <laughs> there's some dark Cubans like darker than us, and the same way like my freckle. Bo- both my parents, my my mom is your color, and my dad was like Mark's color. So your freckles color. So my my freckles <laughs> and my light skin come from. <laughs> From my grandmother and my great grandmother, where I got the Irish in my family, so it goes back. So it could have just jumped back. No, if that like, was well, the case, she would have leaned into that. Like, oh, it's 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 you. You black. Your your mom yeah. are black. She wouldn't have. She wouldn't have completely disregarded or, how birth works. Or in true black man fashion, she's never met his family. Could be that. <laughs> could be that. He could, could be. be. He could, could be, be black, white passing, could and he yes. never told her. But first of all, they both was cheating because he said, I'm just going to accept the accusations. Yeah, he just stood there. Because was like, think about the type of nigga you got to be with where you think that would fly. That's not how birth works. She gave birth to a black baby and said, you put your dick in a black woman. What? She didn't. What? He's, he's either cheating You're giving and, birth. and he doesn't want the real shit to get out or he's a little slow. And it, it could be possible that he's slow and she's going to make him and the baby sleep in the same room together. That's got to be the most awkward for a white couple to have a black baby. Must be crazier than a black couple having a white baby, because it's just—I don't know why. We can, we, we can come out pretty bright, but that is crazy. Uh-huh. I said we can come out pretty bright. Yeah, we can. Yeah. 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 So that too. That's how you know but it like, was a nigga. A white person <laughs> cannot come out black. That's yeah. why it's mm-hmm. just like, and that just goes back to slavery. Just like yeah. the most you know awkward how... shit ever. You just like a what? You know how black the daddy has to be for the baby to come out light skin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never heard that. Uh, yeah, that's gotta be a dark man. You come out light skin. You don't even gotta check behind the ears. Okay, What's behind the ears. That's what you tell how dark you, the baby's gonna get. No way. The baby's ears are typically the color that they're going to end up being. The back of the actual ear. Or oh, like the, 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 spot the ears behind period. The, ears. the ears period are usually darker than the complexion of the child when they're first born, and they usually get closer to that complexion as they grow older. That's interesting. Hold on, hippie. Before we go to the is my C thing, I, I want to talk real quick about the eel thing. We got an eel oh, inside yeah. of man story. But right. before we go to the eel inside of a man story. Yes. Hey, what's up, guys? It's to hear more. And I want to let you know that this episode of DIY is sponsored by BetterHelp. And I also want to remind you that we make time for everything we want to do. Even when it's difficult, we figure out a, a, a way to slip out and grab something to eat. We see our family, even when we're tired, spend time with the kids and such. We we go get the car taken care of. We don't miss leg day at the gym. Even though we want to, we still press through. And you should look at therapy the exact same way, especially when it comes to better health, because they designed their system to be convenient for your life. You understand what I'm saying to you? Everything is done online. You take a brief survey, and then you're matched with one of their licensed therapists. You can text them, you can call them, you can do a video chat. You have unlimited options because it's designed to be convenient for your life. I appreciate the fact that they understand that everybody doesn't work a nine-to-five, or even if they do work a nine-to-five, they might not work traditional hours in said nine-to-five. So the fact that they make it that convenient, they make it that easy, and they never charge you if you need to switch a therapist, okay? You're going to get a therapist very quickly. I remember being in traditional therapy and it took a month and a half to get a new therapist when I wanted to switch and I had to pay. You won't experience any of that over here at BetterHelp. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, this is the time to do it. Especially my fellas. Fellas, I'm talking to you. I'm looking at you. Okay. This is the time to do it. Especially if you come from one of those families like uh, we don't take family business out this house. Well, I do. Because family business is affecting my business and my personal life. And I need to talk to somebody about it. We are past that stigma that we don't do therapy, man. We are leaning into mental health. We are leaning into being healthy uh, communicators, uh, healthy partners, healthy husbands, healthy fathers, brothers, nephews, and so on and so forth. All right. And if you're ready to give it a try, I encourage you to head to betterhelp.com slash D-I-Y-S. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash D-I-Y-S. Do it today. I found this little tidbit out on the internet because the internet is amazing. Did you guys know that eels, all eels, are born in the same exact place? There has never been an eel in captivity that has given birth. They always swim to the same exact place to give birth. That's number one. Number two, they don't have any reproductive organs 
when they're born. I did hear about they that. They live their whole no life. No seen it on camera. And then their stomach dissolves, and then they get reprodu reproductive organs, and then they go, they swim back to their Sarga Sargassi Sea, a region in the Western Atlantic Ocean located inside the Bermuda Triangle. And then they have the kids. But their whole life, they go without any reproductive system and organs. It only happens once they their stomach dissolves and they swim back to this place and they only have so that's why no eels have ever had birth in captivity. They only do it in this one. Every eel on the work earth is born in this one fucking place. So, and, How and crazy. where is that one place? That's the uh Sar Sargasso? So Sargasso Sea. It's near the Bermuda Triangle. So once, they, once their body, from what I'm reading right here, once their bodies know that they're starting to migrate towards that place, then they start developing their reproductive organs. That's crazy. So it knows it's heading there. It's like, well, let me get, give you what you need because once you get here. So all eels know each other. We can't say that about any other animal ever. That's the fucking <laughs> they all craziest cousins. shit they all ever. Cousins. They all fuck they all with each other. They all pull up at the family and you're like, Yay. Yay. That's crazy. So wait, wait. But this blows your fucking mind. Bro, and they have sex the worst way possible where the females just release the eggs and the males just nuts on them. There's Yo, no you sex. Remember that uh, <laughs> Magic School Bus episode? Uh-uh. An a eel episode? It's, no, it's a salmon episode where the salmon lets out the eggs oh, and, salmon and then the eggs gross. and then the and then it fertilizes it. Salmon <laughs> suck. They, 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 they nut on your hand, don't they, Pat? That didn't come out. <laughs> 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 it never came out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I did a nature episode where I caught a salmon, and it it, nut, it didn't nut on my hand, and it nutted on my pants. But either way, it had, it's not out yet. Is so. that what it does? It was okay. We made the mistake. We went to their breeding ground. Oh, so there, okay. It was a, basically a salmon orgy. Okay. And I pulled one out of the orgy, and he was like, "Well, this is going somewhere." He was like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait!" Oh, 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 and I was like. I was like showing off for the camera, and how, it, it it just it maybe much, three or four loads. It was like silly string all on the shirt. It was like boom, boom. <laughs> I noticed by like the third one, I was like, "Is that nut?" And the the dude driving, he was like, "Wait, I'm so sorry, but yes." Out of nut, like, like, so did it? What what did it come exactly out? Exactly what you think? The the salmon dick. Salmon dick. <laughs> It was multiple nuts. Whoa, what does salmon dick look like? <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry for asking. I'm I just didn't curious, really see guys. it. It was like an opening in the salmon. So I had this. It was a big ass salmon. It was like this. And I was like, yeah, I cut a fish. And it was just pumping. It was just. <laughs> oh, we got a picture of the salmon dick. <laughs> and by the third or fourth yeah, load, I was like, like oh, like this is not. <laughs> Damn, he really got a piece of the salmon dick. I'm trying to. For anybody that watched my prank oh, show. Oh, that was just a dick. <laughs> anybody that, that watched my prank show. Uh, the episode that Pat was on, that's when. So Pat was filming an episode of the show called Black to Nature. Uh, I was doing the, the prank show. And so we flew a completely separate camera team to Alaska. Haynes, okay. Alaska. We had to fly yeah. to yeah. Uh, Anchorage. And then we caught a ferry from Anchorage to Haynes, Alaska. And then we walked to this motel and we camped out for days because they were staying about 10 minutes away in a house. And when they went to go do that and see some about bears. This? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like we, a we, we, we pranked the whole house. We, put, we outfitted the house with cameras and it. It was just, it was fucking amazing. And then Pat got nutted on. Oh, Where's, right. the Where's the dick? Where's the dick in this? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, about seven. <laughs> <laughs> I only see the anus. I don't see where it could have even been. I think it comes. I think it's you got zoom. This ural genital opening right near the anus. That you got to zoom about from. right. Yeah. Yeah. we gotta see that thing. <laughs> Let that us see that thing. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what the plans of it is, but it ain't out yet, so y'all can't see it. Okay. And when it does come the out, the episode's gonna be great. I'm gonna yeah. try to pull that part. We out. not gonna spoil. <laughs> Yo, we not gonna spoil. <laughs> Salmon dick look like for everybody, okay? Just, just stay tuned. I if guess. you want to see, you gotta like and subscribe, hit that follow up button. <laughs> Good times, man. Shit, Good crazy. fucking times. That was a long time ago. Okay, let's jump. <laughs> it was a while ago. I forgot. About um, that. Let's jump into this next story about the eel being inside of the man. Is this it right here? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> in Vietnam, doctors pull a 26 inch eel out of a man's backside. After he forced the live creature into his anus along with the lemon, I, I read this one, 
And it started to bite his large intestine. Something about this, either this is the freakiest, nastiest dude of all time, or somebody did this to him because they put the live eel in, then put the lemon to like plug it. They couldn't get to the eel no, because I think, I think the they, lemon. I'm not gonna lie, I think they needed to put the head of the eel on the on the lime lemon to get it in his ass. Because keep the head because I'm like, how how firm is an eel? Mm. I mean, it's, but it's it's slippery though, so we could just go right in there. Yeah, you know? but it might be kind it's of flaccid. Don't, don't nothing go right in there. <laughs> you got to press it. Okay, the hole you know some experience. But ain't yeah. it like all slippery and lubed up? Can't you just like my my hey, thought was yeah. like you just put it near the butthole and just let it go and it just you went. know what man? Certain things we just have to wonder. You know, like we actually don't. What, what what does knowing it actually give us? You know, it actually but here's, doesn't. Here's the it weird doesn't part, make though. me sleep better. It doesn't. The add reason why they couldn't life. get to the eel is because of the lemon. So the lemon was inserted last, and it was like a blockage. They couldn't get to the eel. Is that what it was? I thought it was actually the, a lime. I put that. I thought they put the lime in so he would have something to bite on because they knew he was going to bite something. No, because they the eel ended up eating out his uh, large intestine. Yeah, he wanted something else. Ew. Yeah, it, it was eating through his whole stomach. <laughs> this Yo, lime ain't kicking it for you, boy. What else we got in this bitch? That eel was an eater. <laughs> a real eater, yo. He's a swimmer. He's a track star. <laughs> did the <laughs> did the nigga get what he wanted? Did it at I least don't think feel good? A, I don't think that's how you wanted it. Did to at end, least it man. feel good before he started hey, eating his insides? Can Listen, we be honest? Can we have a moment of transparency? I know, I know it didn't end well. Because we know about it. <laughs> it's in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Definitely didn't end well. I, I'm just wondering if that beginning part, did he get what he wanted? Because, you know, like, they say that people put, be putting, like, live gerbils and hamsters and all these random things. Remember they booties. put the Hot Wheels in the dude ass on Jackass? The Hot Wheels, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's mm -hmm. not alive. Like, there's like, a, there's, like, a trend of live things that just yeah. be scurrying around in Mouse. your booty hole. Nice and I don't know why that's not horrifying for the person experiencing. They're just like, ooh, hamster. Let me ask you a question. I know you have your ass ate. I just got mine ate a couple weeks ago. <laughs> okay. The first uh, time? For the first time. Yeah. Wow, man. Like, like, like Farron has like licked it before, and I was like, no, 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 I don't want to. Uh. But this time, like, I really like submit it, because I'm working yeah. on like submission with my wife and shit. So I really let it. I, 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 I was in shout for a while. She's a spoon. Get okay. All right, relax. All right. Sorry. She's a spoon. Hey, boy, fuck you. <laughs> nah, like, the first time she did it, I mean, the the, the, the first time of that night she did it, I was like, uh, it's, it just feels like somebody licked my elbow. I got nothing out of it. She's like, okay, cool. So she did oh. it again. Bye, bye, bye. I was like, oh. I see what they're talking about. I understand. Right, I understand that. Right. Now, I've never had like, the... An eel? The ad, ain't no... What is it? Ejaculation. Like oh. ejaculation from it. So they say that the Wait, ma a man you come comes... come out your butt? Your butt? No, no, no. Like, like an anal ejaculation. Like yeah, they say that the male G-spot is located. Sure. What's an anal, anal ejaculation? Well, like an ejaculation from anal entry. Like, like... From your penis? And no one's even no one's dealing with hands it? No one's got their hands free. Bluetooth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, they say it's out like, here, man. Like the same way, like you gotta you go the deep in there, in the though. You gotta wow. get in there. You put your thumb in there, like if a chick is in your ass and she like push her thumb, or and, like she would have to do that and maybe like jack it off at the same. I don't know, but they say that ejaculation the is the most powerful or most pleasure rewarding ejaculation that a That's man. That's gotta can be have. why a nigga would want to get booty fucked. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's gotta like be that. some reward yeah. at the end of that crazy tunnel. Listen. If I <laughs> If I come that hard where well, I cry, like, like. What you mean cry? Like, it's just such they a beautiful moment. That's they say they it's say. such a beautiful You've moment. You've heard that too? Yeah, man. <gasps> Yo, man, you got to get on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, be, you, don't be, you don't be curious enough, <laughs> man. You can, Google, you, can Google, you can Google something, man. Or if you really want to know the answer at the Reddit. end of whatever you Google, just type in Reddit. Man. No one's even touching your junk and you crying? Bro, I, I don't know if it's like simultaneously while you're getting... Uh, it's got to be something. I mean, possibly, but it yeah. also could just be like, women come from just anal? Yeah. They say it's mental too. They say it's like it's like half mental. Like you yeah, gotta... I, can't, I, I can't see myself being in a place where I can just be like, oh, this is happening. All right, let's just make for me. Amazing. For me, I feel like that's just too long. 
What you mean? <laughs> like, I feel like you gotta, I feel like you'd have to be in your ass for a second. Yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. it's not just a button you can be like, yeah, Boop. not, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think it's just a button. I it's think gonna you be gotta, a process. Uh, yeah, it's a yeah. process. She got, she got, you gotta, she gotta make time. entry. If you cry, she gotta calm you back down, like rub your shoulders or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Gotta be right here. So it yeah, sounds like a, assault. Just do the tongue. <laughs> yeah, just keep it light. Do it, do it quick. That's gotta be considered squirting. It is. If you, if you, if no one touches your dick and somebody's playing with your ass and you come, that's squirting. Hey, super casual say, what this button do? Absolutely. I don't know. I don't even want to know if I like that. You, that's a, that's, that's a, a lot of self-exploration. So risky road. <laughs> slippery slope, literally. You got to be with someone you really trust. That is a slippery right. slope. Hey, we can't never break up, bitch, because you can't tell nobody about this. She oh, you guys can't nobody. break up after that. No, we go together forever. Like, we go hey, together real bad, You know, he's, man, a, he's a booty you. squirter. You my everything. <laughs> Yeah, we go together real women, bad. Women, listen, you don't have to worry because women only talk about ass stuff with other ass stuff women. Okay, that's yeah, fair. they don't bring that to the whole group. Yeah. You know, it's got to be her and the girl that she knows, like saying because they're throw always it out the there. ones that she throw it out there. But yeah. like, if they not, if the group's not receptive, she's gonna. They're the initiators. For side you gotta be a freaky ass nigga to initiate it and be like, yeah, nah, eat my booty. Hey, it's some it's some women out here that just love. That's, that's what I'm yeah. saying. They initiate. Yeah. yeah, I've dealt with women that are freakier than me. My wife actually. The, le- the last couple of women I've dealt with were probably freakier than me. And specifically, my wife. My wife is she. She with the shits. And the crazy <laughs> part. This, this is the crazy part. I did all what I thought the nasty freaky shit with women I, I wasn't married before I got married. Like I'm doing all this shit. I like, treat my wife like that. She was like, I'm saving myself for marriage to do the nastiest freaky shit. So we had a huge disconnect when we first got married. She's like, I'm, like, I'm trying to be nasty as fuck. That's what she husband. was like. And I was I'm like, trying to be I peed on you when we was fucking in college. <laughs> <laughs> like, we married now. You got to kiss our daughter on the cheek before she go to school. Like, I can't come can't on your chin like right now. No, that's she not want that all nice. that shit. So. Nice. That's that's a good marriage. Y'all going to be is. together for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up, that's man. My dog. That's, that's my dog, what's up. It's my dog. Yeah. All right. Um... Interesting pivot. <laughs> <laughs> like, if prison. we continue talking, we would just have to start talking prison. about us fucking. Be like, you know what I fuck, man? Now we're going to we, Now we're about to talk dog, about you be fucking prison. like this. I'll be fucking like this, dog. That's crazy. <laughs> we're about to start talking about prison, y'all. <laughs> this is where most of the booty exploration is going on. Um, but this is kind of cool, actually. I, I support this 100%. NYC spends. <laughs> what the fuck? $59,000 on PlayStation games for prisoners. According to reports, the City Correction Department uh, spent almost $60,000 in taxpayer money on PlayStation 4 and 5 games to maintain inmate order. The funds were used to purchase uh, 1,247 games. Tell what games, games niggas got in jail. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. First of all, before I get, before I get to that, let's just, let's just appreciate how they're trying to Put more stuff and you know, put more time consumers in the prisons because uh, I watch a lot of like documentaries and stuff. I get it. There's the whole like comment like, oh, they should have done the crime. There's no reason to treat these niggas like animals, right? Mm-hmm. So some recreation is good because the other stuff that they have to do is pr- is pretty pretty violent. But to to your point. The games are Mortal Kombat, uh-huh. <laughs> Street Fighter, six, six, six. Uh, and then Madden NFL, and NBA that's why 2K. I had the problem. That's why I had the problem. At Madden and NBA, yo, you yeah. go get your ass yeah. whooped on cross gen. That right there, <laughs> cross Madden, gen. Madden and Spade should not be allowed in jail. What? It's only gonna perpetuate this, the situation. It's only gonna make it worse. Oh, cause niggas be fighting over what? Madden and stuff. My yeah, grandma I called me a bitch ass nigga for reneging in Spade <laughs> in front of the pastor. This is nah. at the church picnic. No one should be playing Spades in jail. It's only it's 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 a negative. Energy creating game. I don't. I don't approve. So to of. that point, maybe it's good for them to have like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. But they if all... you rip a nigga's tongue out. You might not want to do that in real life. But they also got. They also have one thousand two hundred and forty seven games. So you know these niggas in jail playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> 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 nigga, but nigga, <laughs> nigga, reliving this 
how they got me the first time. <laughs> so I was doing the same but thing. But that's a, that, so I hit the that house. kept me out of jail. So I hit the house. <laughs> you got to just do whatever you wanted, and then you don't have to. You got it out your system. Nah, nah. Like, nah. This shit they like play this for real. They play a heist online. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally for video games in in. They in get prison. money. I, yo, I played a uh, Grand Theft Auto online. Have y'all played Grand Theft Auto online? The, like the the role playing version the where you can one? have a job and shit. It's a new the last one, Grand Theft Auto Five. I went mm. online once, right? And as soon as I came online, I just want to play a game leisurely. I don't really like online gaming yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I got on on Grand Theft Auto. A dude ran up to me immediately. Was like, "Yo, you trying to make some money?" <laughs> I was like, "Nah," because it's no. virtual. It's virtual currency in the game. I was yeah, like, it's like, I no. was like, "Nah, I think I'm not joining a virtual <laughs> gang." <yo." laughs> was that what he was asking? Yeah, yeah to yo, join a gang, a, doing a virtual <laughs> gang. Yo, so they're gonna be. They gonna be live. They gonna be living a, a simulation in there. A white dude in a headset was really sitting there, like, "Hey, nigga, you want to make some money?" Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Like, w- what? <laughs> Just play story mode. Oh, I'm sick shit. of online. That's dope, though. I I always thought that like gaming is one of those things where like if I if I make it to be an old person and I'm in like a nursing home or if I'm just like in I'm the not. bed all the time not really like doing anything video games and VR is gonna be the shit I'm not gonna lie let me run into a nigga playing 2K in jail <laughs> online when I'm playing online I'm gonna talk so much they're shit to not that playing nigga. online I just wanna I just wanna say, <laughs> that, none of this is hey, online this is how you get the game if you can't even go on the system no, no this, is, is, this is dog, PvP on the couch no this dog you cannot local. even you can't even turn on a Playstation 5 you think there's without, good Wi-Fi and Prison? Dog, I'm telling you. I, as a, hey, they, they streaming it off the phones. They sing it in in the asses. As a PS4, as a PS4 owner, five whatever it is, yo, you can't go online without the internet. You can't get any games without the internet. They don't even make physical what games anymore. So they, it has to be connected. Oh, to the internet. downloaded, yeah. They gon' they gon' be online. Well, no, they this. still make physical games, don't they? The, they uh, do, but more people buy the digital. Oh, so they got the them niggas to get out the hard drive. I worked at a jail for two and a half years as a teacher. I taught life skills, math, and science. Oh, and I was doing skills? this shit. Why are you laughing? Life skills. You said life skills. I did. I did. It was a life skills class. It's a successful I'm, man. Why would you yeah, laugh? It was a life skills <laughs> class. I've never heard the life skills part before, so I'm wondering what was you teaching them? Oh, life skills was it was it was more about like how not to go to jail. <laughs> a little late for that. <laughs> <laughs> the life skills was more like like planning and structure and and just creating good habits. It, the curriculum was mainly based off of a couple of books, not just like one book, like with a math or science class. So life skills are a little different. But the point I was trying to make is, I've had two students pull up at my show at the comedy union when I was when the, when I was a teacher there, and they had got out. They got either their case got dismissed or they got free. And niggas pulled up. I was like, Miss Moore, remember how you teach me? So I was like, them niggas get out. So don't talk too much shit. I was like, oh, you Jordan Rock? Oh. I know niggas in jail. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you like, I'm talking shit to you. I'm just mean, I just mean, like, we we play it live. We, uh, we play 2K late at night. I'm yeah. on the headset. You on the headset. The, head, the headset is in the controller, bro. It's like, it comes with it. Wait, yeah, it's in you the can't, con- Yeah, you can't even, it's like, in the controller in the PS5. So, really? No, you can turn it off. You can turn it off. No, but I mean, I've I've been online oh, yeah, like, you gotta hear me. You gotta and they'll hear be me. like, yo, you got, you got a mic? You got a mic? And I was just like, like, nigga, you got a mic. So, hey, man, you better not, you better not come in here talking though, no, no trash, man. I'm gonna be going to my fridge. I'm going to my fridge. I'm gonna be opening doors and closing. Yeah, stuff. that is true. You, hey, the lights out I mean, over there. Is the lights out over there? Niggas be talking trash to free niggas. Yeah, they be so they, they be just talking right. But honestly, there's like a lot of like uh, rules against that shit now. I've, I've noticed like the Call of Duty log, uh, lobbies when I was growing up were just niggas. Nigga, 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 nigga. Yeah. Like horrible racism, horrible trash talking. Now they talk trash, but it's like you can get booted for that. Oh, so word. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, okay. There's like a, there's like you have to like sign something with the. X I miss button. the good old days. <laughs> a pure racist. Yeah, racism man. man. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I'm a purist. I'm, I'm, t- I'm a purist. Yeah, I'm a purist. Actually, I grew up in the. Yo, I grew up in the South, man. So I grew up in South Carolina. So I, in my mind, I'm like, yo, don't take away the Confederate f- flag. <laughs> don't take away the Confederate flag. That's what how is I wrong not, with that's you? How, you a wild nigga, bro. That's how I can identify the racist. I don't want to just be out here with okay, no identity. Though, they do be that waving part. that flag, and yeah. you be like, "Okay, I know I now." No, yeah. I don't want to just be out here. No identifiers, no yeah. nothing. That's I'm, just, I get that. I'm just out here thinking you normal. I never thought of it like that. <laughs> the Confederate flag is just as much for us <laughs> as it is for them, if not more for us. Oh, I think we got time for one more before we get up out of here. 
Uh, what is this one? Uh, so we can do officer gets arrested for a groping woman's breast in a mock traffic stop. Seems like a weird note to end on. Let's, let's, let's do, do the, the other uh, one. Uh, <laughs> let's do the AI one. one. Let's do the AI one at the bottom. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. All right, cool. There we go. Uh, friend is a new AI that wants to be a friend so you don't feel alone. The this is uh, this is straight out of the movies right here. Created by Avi Schiffman. This pend, uh, pendant-sized device listens to your conversations, offering real-time commentary and support through text message and push notifications. Util uh, utilizing, what is that? Anthropic. Anthropic AI's Claude 3.5 model. Claude. Friend <laughs> aims to be a, a constant supportive presence in the wearer's life, available for pre-order at $99. Not a bad price. Cheap friend. Uh, the startup was, who reportedly raised $2.5 million has brought the domain friend.com for $1.8 million, with his founder claiming it was a smart decision based on spending less on marketing in the future by having easy-to-search website. I don't mind this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest y'all listen to, okay. to the video. I'm kind of nervous. Where do we plug this in? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, right under the, the sound. Because or... I think Before it gives I you hear a this, better... You want this? Yeah. yeah, let me hear it. Uh, can we get a third one? Wait, no, I got it right here. I got the yeah, third one. That's it. yours, man. Before I, I, before I hear this... Wait, I'll plug in right I here? just want to mm -hmm. say that we got to judge this based on uh, the fact that probably 70% of the internet is very upset and alone, and that's why they be leaving them terrible comments. So if there was just a little necklace you could have that could just give you some affirmations and just, hey, well, how you doing? I'm good. Because a lot of people don't have that. Bro, fuck that shit, bro. This is this is exactly how fucking Skynet begins, bro. Man, I'll be talking to chat GPT sometimes. There's this, way... This is fucking I don't give Skynet. A, don't. <laughs> like, hey, this ask chat GPT. Is Sky, yo, tell chat GPT to structure something for you. They're going to knock it out. No, that's not talking to them, though. You're doing work. Do yeah. you ever log into chat GPT and be like, ask me how my day was? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I bet you it'll give you an answer. Wait, hold on. Let me do it right now, actually. Let me see. I got chat GPT. It's going to say, how was your day? And then it's going to be like, dot, 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 awkward. Oh, it's not playing. Oh, it's not playing. Yeah, I can't hear it. I don't know why. Well, uh, just tell us what you hear. It's not. Yeah, I can't even hear it. Yeah. It's okay. Well, we have to say, how was, how was your day or how was my day? Ask how my day was. Just like try to try to uh, bribe a conversation out of them. <laughs> Just say how is my day going, or ask ChatGPT how their day is going. No, no, like ask me how my day was. So ChatGPT can... asked me how my day is. How the fuck you go ask a robot how their day was? <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, it was it was cool. Just niggas asking me stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you writing? Ask me how my day was. <laughs> <laughs> how was your day? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Right, Just, they, they know what they're doing. It was hey. chill. I did a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is the movie Her, and somebody's gonna fall in love with this pendant. Um, yeah. So, so on this part of the video, the um. It starts um, this roasting. This him. is decent. It's like you're getting trashed. Oh shit! Oh wow! It, it's, it's giving a. Cool. It actually up. I actually updated oh, the whole system asking it that. It said, "Hey, that was that sounds cool. What was the podcast about? This is like a. This is legit. So okay. This... So creepy story, real quick before we get out of here. I told Pat this when it happened last week. So last week was the last week we shot. How was the full last we shot with Kev? Was the last week? Kev, Kev at the studio. With oh, Kev hospital. Yeah. Um, that was uh, last week. No, okay. week before last. So, I'm in the bathroom. I'm on the toilet, right? <laughs> I'm not talking to anybody. I'm on there. I was looking at some videos. I had this idea for a new sex product, Dream right? Answer? It was something that hmm. will... Um, a, a new product to, like, make you do a new sex position, right? I had the idea. I drew it in my notes. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not saying anything out loud. You drew the sex position? I drew the, 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 the device that would help you achieve the sex position for the woman, basically. I drew it, a sketch on my phone in my notes. Okay. I, get, I finish that, finish my business in the toilet. I'll go to the bedroom and lay down. I lay down, plug my phone in. I was like, let me check my emails before I take a nap. Take my emails. And somebody has sent me an email that looks damn near like my drawing in my notes. You have and an so iPhone? I have an iPhone. So I'm you like, can draw in your somebody, notes? somebody, like, does somebody have access to my phone that they can, like, look at my notes? And they were able to draft an email that fast based off of what I drew in oh my, my notes. Oh, my God. 
Yes. You can draw on your nose. That's crazy. Nigga, bro, like, let me show you. Let, I didn't let me know you see. Can do that. Wait, did the email say, like, were you trying to draw this? No, the email was like, hey, we have this new product. Would you be interested in collaborating? I'm like, bitch, this is my product. I hadn't searched any, like, sex swings or anything to make that be prompted to, like, where somebody was like, oh, Straight this person was searching this. Straight to the I didn't juicy. search anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Oh. I didn't type anything. Only thing I had did was put this in my notes, and yeah, that it fucking freaked me out. Every look, look, wow, you can't see it because that's fucking crazy. <laughs> I don't know why, but it let me zoom in when I was drawing it, so I could write words tighter. But I was drawing. It looked a like that. Well, this is the posi- no. This this was this is me like this so is your this notes. Was, yes, this is my notes. So this is the chick and why you can't read the position. So with the tool. It'll be able to let her hang over the bed so she can get curved <coughs> off and create a deeper arch mm-hmm. without raising her waist. Because that would be the problem with the, getting a deeper arch. Her waist have to be ripped. First of all, this drawing arch. is a mess. How did they copy this? Bro, that's what I'm saying. But hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you what the. the fuck uh, is you about to show? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to see you. the copied version so bad. I'm going to show you the, the email. What are you um, about to show us? Oh, my God. Where is it at? Fucking. Uh, it was Tuesday. This wasn't worth a favorite. He <laughs> <laughs> could no, have favorite this I, I email. Have that. <laughs> I thought that like my phone had been hacked or something. I was like, yo, I'm gonna delete all of this shit. But Jeff, yo, it, it really be, fucked me up. Y'all can just watch it with each other. Okay. Hear what it's saying. Okay. While he's doing that, I'm, Go gonna, ahead. Uh, I'm gonna show the AI f- video. <laughs> I don't know what they're breathing right there. So you, right. you, press the, the, you press the necklace and then it texts you. You're getting trashed. It's embarrassing. Why would you want somebody? Talking? I don't want nobody talking. I don't want my AI talking trash. Wait, they talk when you're not. He was playing video games and the thing oh, it's reaching out to you. Yeah, I thought you had to. No. They say, "How's the falafel?" No. <laughs> no. You don't like that? Nah, that that's wrong. I was joking, guys. I don't like AI. That's crazy. That's kind of crazy. That's sick. This is the email they sent me. That was that was I really regular. I, that's Wait, like what a, is this? For? That's <laughs> this is wild. the email they sent me, and it was right after I drew my product in my notes, and I received this email like, "Hey, we would love to collab with you." That's insane. Here's the thing: Let this me company see. is it's fake. It's explicit, guys. This company is fake. I googled it. The person's name oh, is no fake and all of that, but they sent me something that looked like the product I drew. That's a swing. I know, but why would I receive that? Right after I drew that is my crazy, product. but they didn't steal your idea. Your no, because it's not stands. the same thing. It's yeah, not yeah, the same yeah. thing, but it's just this it's shit just is weird. connected, man. Bro, I'm telling you, like people, <laughs> I received the email for Rob Hayes this morning. Oh, he, I heard, I saw that he got hacked. Yeah, you but didn't click I, he it, did didn't you? know until I uh I I, I clicked to take Why it to the, like the download message. thing, but I didn't click the download part. Okay, so. Bro, if they can get into your phone, like when people send the Trojan horse, they can have access to your phone and all your stuff. So they can it. have access to your notes and your text messages. So anything that you send over your phone private can now be compromised. Oh, easily. Well, we know that. Yeah, that's that's been the. I mean, I I, I see that all the time. They they listen to the keywords and they'll be like, yeah, they, oh, okay. We know that guys. You want to uh, you want a sex swing? Sex swing advertisements everywhere for sure. But, but here's you, the thing: I didn't say anything. All I did was draw it was just in the my drawing. notes. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I was in the bathroom. By you myself. didn't even type talking. anything. You Wait, were writing no, the I words. just drew it. This thing about uh, the uh, Rob Pay's email is it? It's like legit his real email. It was his, his real email? email. That's why I clicked that before I clicked the link. What, did, what was it? It was like, hey, new project proposal. Please click the link. And it was like it wanted you to sign like an NDA before you could read the make proposal. Sure my, let me make sure. Why not get one? I'm cool with Rob. <laughs> <laughs> even the, not even cool the fake hackers did, now? even the fake knew not to contact you. It was like, nah, <laughs> that's crazy. And then everybody else that was uh, included in it was like the the BCC, so I couldn't even see who else got hit. All I saw was my name and Rob's name. It seemed personal. And it was like five in the morning, so I text. I'm like, nigga, first of all, what are you doing up this morning? I know what I'm doing up, but like, what are you doing up this early? And is this a real thing? And so I text him that. He responded like at seven. Was like, nah, I was hacked. Don't click that link. I was Damn. like, fuck. That's scary. 
how did they even do that? And then they know how to BCC people because usually you could tell uh, they usually, it's like a big massive email. Yeah, they'll usually go through your your most you know most uh, email I people. Emailed him in a while. Some people see what y'all are talking about and then try to yeah. I will say this about this friend thing. They need to integrate that technology into the phone or the Apple iWatch. Because, like... You don't want to wear it? You want if somebody's actually doing that, that is an indicator. You are going to get roasted like a <laughs> motherfucker. Like, oh, look at this nigga got a neck friend. <laughs> oh, can't find a friend He got a friend nigga. on his neck. Yeah, you got to put that under something. You like. got to... <laughs> What's up, friend? <laughs> Everybody was in the commercial just wearing it freely. Like, not... What if the friends are as evil as, like... What about your mom though? That lives at such and such, such and such, such and such. But that's like, gonna you gonna get that text. Not no, them. No, no, no. I mean, but you never know. He can recognize the voice type. No, shit. it does. It probably does recognize your voice because Alexa recognizes your voice. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. I don't know what the fuck that was about, but uh, I felt in trouble. <laughs> right. <laughs> We and I couldn't four, have done anything. <laughs> we have four minutes on this card. Four All right, minutes. So we're about to get ready and get up out of here. But before we go, Jordan, anything you want to let the people know to look out for, what they should check out, what they can expect coming up, and where they can find you at? Uh, What do I have out? Uh, Yeah, type my name in Netflix. Watch whatever pops up. Oh, uh, yeah. That's yeah, a, love that on Netflix. Flex. Uh, The After Party on Netflix. Take the 10 on Netflix. Uh, You know, do some homework. I'm out here. All Def Comedy, HBO, Hot Love Mike. Life Season 2, Hot Mike. Hot Mike's uh, coming out Hot on Series Mike is coming out. That's LOL Network. You. Um, I have a movie called, I did a movie called Micro Budget that should be out soon. And uh, check out my comedy special, Random Rock on all streamers. Come on. I'm on the road. Random I'm putting Rock. Up sketches. Uh, I'm putting up clips. Uh, just follow me, Jordan Rock. I'm easy. Anything that pops up in Netflix, that is a cold flex. <laughs> <laughs> Not Google. Type Go it to in. Netflix. Type Whatever it pops up, special. watch that. Got a special on Netflix. Pete Davidson presents the best friends. Yeah, we're on Netflix, man. We're on Netflix. Lit. Let's That's go. That's fucking dope. I wish we get. Gonna... I know that I would have asked more about Pete Davidson. He seems like a cool guy, but that just means we got to have you back on the show. You got to come back, and we can talk I'll come about back all the shit. Um. Uh, Jordan Rock on Instagram. Yep. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all so much for watching another episode. Uh, damn it, and that you scary. I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we'll see you next week on another episode. Peace, guys. <laughs>